the equation B, this equation, represented the ideal case where there are no additional losses in the main, only the free space losses there. Okay? In practice, we need to consider all the loss because we need to consider a more complex situation in which that uh, loss is present in the atmosphere as well because of the attenuation by the different gases present in the atmosphere like the oxygen, water vapor, content of water vapor, right? rain, the losses in the antenna itself at each end of the year. Alright? So for that we are going to consider the losses like first air A, the attenuation in the atmosphere, second the loss associated with the transmitting antenna itself. Third, the loss associated with the receiving antenna. Okay, these three are the losses we need to encounter while we need to consider the practical situation. Alright? So the received power ER is commonly referred to as a career power. Why? Because the most satellite link we use is the frequency modulation for analog transmission and the phase modulation for the digital transmission. So, both the modulation scheme, that is the amplitude of the carrier is not going to change when the data are modulated onto the carrier. So, my carrier power is equal to the received power. Okay? Now, the next topic is the system noise temperature and G by T ratio. What does it mean? First of all, at micro frequency, a black body with a physical temperature, we can say it is PP degrees Kelvin, will generate electrical noise over a wide bandwidth. So, this noise temperature provides a way of determining how much amount of thermal noise is present. And it is generated by the active and the passive devices in the receiving system. Right? So, we need to consider the value of noise power. So, the noise power Tn is equal to Kdp. What is K? K is Boltzmann constant having a value of 1.38 to 10 to minus 23 joule per Kelvin. In dB watt per k per hertz, Kelvin per hertz, that is minus 2 to 8.6. Okay? Tn is my noise temperature in Kelvin. V is my noise bandwidth in which my noise power is measured. Alright? So, the system noise temperature is the noise temperature of the noise source. At the input of noiseless receiver, but it will give the same power as the original receiver will give you. It will measure at the output of the receiver. Alright? Now, how to calculate the system noise temperature? See, first, you know that if there are a multiple amplifiers connected in the cascade stage which is having a gain of G1, G2 and G3 then the overall gain in the output is the multiplication of G1, G2 and G3 okay? that we already studied in the subject of electronic device and circuit so what is the overall gain of amplifier connected in the cascade stage alright so, consider that there are my two amplifiers which is having a gain like GIF for IF amplifier and GIF for the gain of IF amplifier. And this is the mixture of the hand gain of GM. Okay? Now, we know that my mixture, amplifier, RF amplifier, and IF amplifier, and both are all of the three are the noiseless. So, we need to 
that create the noise power. So G K T V N. What is G I F? That is the gain of I F amplifier. K is my Boltzmann constant. T is my temperature of I F amplifier. V N is the noise bandwidth. Okay. What is T I F? T I F of temperature of I F amplifier. T N is temperature of mixer. T R F is temperature of R F amplifier. Then plus G I F. Into GM, GIM into GM, into KTMVM, right? Plus GIF, GM, and GRF into KTRF plus TE. Temperatures are going to be added, and the gain are going to be multiplied into EN. Okay, VN, VN, VN for one VN is for this, for this, and for that. Okay. So the noisy devices in the receiver are going to be replaced by its equivalent noiseless block with the same gain. And the noise generators at the input to each block in such a way that a block will produce the same noise at its output as a device it replaces. So the total noise power at the output of I amplifier to the receiver is given by this equation that we have discussed. All right, P n is equals to G G T G K T B n. G is going to be multiplied for the in mixtures and the gain of R amplifier mixture and I amplifier in Boltzmann constant P n and this the temperature of R F and the Make sure. All right. So the equation can be written it like this. We are going to make the common part of gain of I amplifier, make sure so I I amplifier, Boltzmann constant, and the noise bandwidth. We will get this expression for the noise power. All right. Now. The single source of noise again shown in this above figure with the noise temperature T S will generate the same noise power P N at its output. Okay, so T N is my input temperature. The noise source is the input temperature of T S is going to be added and it is going to be applied to the noise desk receiver which is having the gain of G R F into G M into G I F. Okay, so we will get the noise power is equals to Boltzmann of G K T B N. G means the product of these three terms. All right. So we know that the formula for the noise power K T S B N. Okay, so K and B N are going to be cancelled out. So the system noise temperature is input temperature plus temp. Effective temperature of R F amplifier plus mixer temperature divided by gain of R F amplifier and the I amplifier temperature divided by multiplication of G M and G I. Okay, so this is the way how we can calculate the noise system noise temperature. All right. Now the next is noise figure. It is used to specify the noise generated within a device. You can say that. This is the ratio of signal to noise ratio of input to the signal to noise ratio of the output. Right? This is the operational noise figure. Now the noise temperature is basically used in the circuit in which it is best to convert my noise figure to noise temperature because the noise temperature is related with the noise figure is like T is equals to T0 in bracket noise figure minus 1. It is N at means noise figure is the linear region of the decibel and the T0 is my vector temperature is 290 Kelvin. Alright. Now, the G by T ratio for the earth station. 
So this link equation that we can write in terms of carrier to noise power. We know the equation for received power. Alright. We can ultimately say that the received power is my carrier power. So the value of received power is PT, GT, GR upon 4 pi R by lambda whole square. What is the value of PN? K, T, N, B, N. Okay. Take a ratio of received power and the noise power. You will get carrier to noise power ratio. The resultant will be PT, GT, GR by K, T, B, N 4 pi R lambda whole square. So you will get PGT upon KVN, lambda upon 4 pi whole square and G by D. Okay. So this is called the GR upon DS is called the G by K ratio for the earth station gain by source temperature. Okay. So over here we have seen how to calculate the received power, what is saturation flux density and if I am going to transmit the signal, transmit the power at certain distance of R, then how to get the situation flux density, what is noise temperature, noise figure, how to calculate the system noise temperature and lastly we have seen the G by T ratio from the carrier to noise ratio, alright. We have Calculated G by D ratio from the carrier power to the noise power. Alright? Carrier power means it is received power. Noise power means a multiplication of K, P, and VN. Goldman constant, temperature, and the noise bandwidth. Alright? But still, if you have any doubt, you can ask me anytime on my video when I do. Till then, thank you for your attention.